So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect Python with SQL and we are going to be setting up the DB browser for SQL Lite. This is this application right here on my screen. We are going to create a database, open the database, create a table or some tables, insert data using insert statement, query the data using select statement and view the data in SQL Lite. So the first thing I'd like us to do is, in case you don't have SQL Lite in your system, you simply go to Google and type SQL, SQL Browser for SQL Lite. So it takes you to this place, this DB Browser for SQL Lite, and you simply going to download it for your operating system. For me, I'm using Mac, so I downloaded this and installed it. So once you install it, you will have it on your system SQL Lite. SQL Browser, DB Browser for SQL Lite. This is this application right here, and that is what I've opened. Once you've opened it for the first time, this is what you are going to see. Now, I'm also using Jupyter Notebook, as you can see, and I've also created a folder uh, where I'm going to be placing my files. So this current file, this current notebook, is in this folder here I called New Python. So it's an empty folder I want to work with in this tutorial. So let's go ahead to get started. Simply executing this import SQLite will import the SQLite module into your workspace and executing this second statement that says con is equal to SQLite.connect and specify the name of your database is going to create the database for you. So if I go back to the Python folder, new Python, you can see that we have a new database created. For now, this database is empty and so we cannot connect to it. It means that there are no tables inside currently. So at this point, I'm going to create a table and before I create a table, I'm going to create a cursor and cursor is simply an object that helps you manipulate or manage tables. So I'm going to say connection.cursor. So in this case, I have a cursor and I'll be able to now create a table and manage those tables. So let's create a new table and then we're able to uh, maybe insert some data into this table. So I'm going to say cnc.execute and now I'm going to specify open and close braces and then I'm going to specify the SQL statement for creating a table. So the syntax in, in Python, you have to use triple, uh, I can't remember, I think I, I can't remember, apostrophe, I think that's the name of this uh, symbol. So I'm going to use a create, a create table statement to create a new table. So let me create a table. I'm going to call this table student. Student, and I specify the data type for this student. So I'm going to say first, let's just say first name, first name text and last name text. So let's keep it simple in this way. And then at the end of the day, at the end of the line, you're going to specify the same three apostrophes. So let me check everything should be correct at this time. So I'm going to execute this line and it says SQL cursor at this memory location. And at this point, I'll try to open this table in SQL Lite. Remember that without SQL without DB browser, I mean without DB browser or some other application, you will not be able to open this database and view the data. So let's go to Python and we can see our database here. And this at this point, let's now open this database in SQLite in DB browser. So I'm going to click on open database and I'm going to go to the folder I created, which is this new Python. And I'm going to simply choose tutorial DB and I'm going to click on open and now in this tutorial DB you can see that we have tables and it tells us one table student made up of the first name and the last name just for fun I'm going to create another table this time I'm going to call it teachers so I'm going to copy and then I'm going to paste here and I'm going to call this table teachers and let's leave it at first name and last name as well. So I'm going to run this code. And at this point, I'm going to try to refresh, but now it doesn't refresh. 
Yeah, so what I'm going to do now is to just reopen it one more time. So I'm going to choose tutorial TV and say open. So now it refreshes and you can see students and we can see teachers. Okay, now we want to insert some data into this database. So we are going to use insert statement at this point. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this uh, statement here and I'm going to reuse it. This time, I'm going to specify an insert statement right here. So instead of create table, I'm going to simply say insert into, just replace create table with insert into and specify the name of the table you want to insert. Let me make some room here and then specify the data you want to insert and close in quotes, in single quotes. So I'm going to specify Kyneton, that's my name, and specify the last name this is my last name, Munonye, and I'm going to simply execute this code. I think uh, I'm not making a mistake. Yeah, so let me run. Okay, so we have an error here. Insert into students values. So I missed that. Values. Yeah, so it should work at this time. All right, so it tells us cursor at blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so let me just insert one more item into the student. Let me just insert the name of my friend, uh, Nick. Nick, and the surname is Hobart. All right. And I'm going to click on run. And at this point, if I go to the student table and I'll try to select the data. So let's see. So when I click on browse table, let's make some room here. It tells us nothing because for some reason it has to be refreshed. So I'm going to click on this refresh key and it doesn't refresh. Okay, so let me tell you what the problem is. It's true that you've executed these statements right here, but these statements are not yet committed. So at this point, I'm going to simply commit this statement. So I'm going to simply say con.commit and this is going to commit or save the, this this is going to simply execute this statement and save it to the database. So I'm going to run this code and it says commit takes one argument, uh, takes no argument. Okay, so I'm going to rerun and it's committed. I'm going to simply close the connection at this point. So I'm closing the connection, run, perfect. So if I come back here and refresh, you can see that we have some items. For some reason, I don't really know how to increase the fonts uh, of this. Okay, but at least you can see that we have some data in here. So let's try something else. Let's assume that somebody have given you uh, a database and you want to view the data in the database. You don't have uh, SQLite or uh, the SQLDB. We want to use kind of use Python to query the data in this database and display them in Jupyter Notebook right here. So how do you do this? Again, the first thing you want to do is to open the database and declare a cursor just like this one. So have a connection, but the connection at this point is closed. So I'm going to start the connection again by saying con, I'm going to create a new cursor. So C is equal to con.cursor. So now what we want to do now is to select, write a select statement for uh, the student's table. So I'm going to write a select statement by saying CN. Again, I'm going to uh, simply copy this code so I can reuse it. So I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to paste it right here. So instead of having an insert statement here, I'm going to delete these values from here. I'm going to just delete the values and simply say, select select star from students okay so when you say select star from students it's going to select all the rows from students at this time you can also specify some filtering criteria using a where clause but for now let's just keep it simple i just want to make sure that you're able to start from the scratch and do this initial part and later on we are going to move from here so I'm going to execute this at this time. However, once you fetch some data, you need a place to keep the data. 
So well, once we have seen that there's a queue, we have a cursor now reading this data and want to keep this data in some place as it comes. So I'm going to say for row in C, and we are going to say print row. So for each of the row, the cursor uh, is fetching, it's going to print it out to the output. So let's see how it plays out. I'm going to run this code at this time. So it says invalid syntax and let's see so it says for row in row so that's my mistake so i'm going to print yeah so you can see that it prints out the two data we have in the database in the sql database now assuming you want to fetch uh data by criteria you can actually specify a where clause here for instance you can say where here where our first name so you can say we have first name is equal to specify in single quotes and specify the first name, let's say Tyson. And at this point, I'm going to simply run this and you can see that we have only one record uh, retrieved. So this is basically how to use SQL with Python. And one thing that is good with this is if you have knowledge of SQL, you can actually perform very fast operations using SQL queries uh, to, 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 to iterate large amounts of data or even to do filtering, searching or something or any other database operation you, are going, you might want to do. Now, the next thing we are going to be talking about will be SQL Alchemy. SQL Alchemy, let me just write it, not in this tutorial, but in the next one, but I just want to make an introduction to this. So SQL Alchemy, uh, I don't know if you've heard it before, so it's an ORM mapping tool for SQL, for, for Python, object by object relational Python to a relational uh, database in SQL. So let's save it for the next video. But for now, I'm going to stop here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. I'd like to recommend, take some time to do this yourself, create as many tables as possible, do a whole lot of select statements and insert statements and get your head around this. Please remember to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any update from me. And I remain kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you.